Well, it's finally here, my crappy tool, or otherwise known as exuberant. I honestly can't believe it got this far. When I first started this tool, it was just to automate a few things and mess around with some stuff in the tags. I never expected it to be released as a full app for everyone to use. But, <laughs> oh boy, here we are. Let's get into this. So, for those of you living under a rock for the past few months, Exuberant is a mod tool for Halo 5 Forge on the PC. It'll allow you to change your armor, change your performance settings, spawn AI and offline Forge, and much, much more. So when you first start the tool, you're going to notice that it's caching rec images. This is basically just downloading all the rec icons from the Halo CDN. Doing it this way makes the application much faster at loading rec images. You should only have to do this once unless there's an update for the application. And once that's finished, Exuberant should be ready to do whatever you want. So if you have Halo 5 open, it should say it's connecting to the map or fetching tag information or something like that. That's normal. It'll fetch the tag information every time you load a different level. And just to note, this app is pretty flexible, so if your game crashes or you haven't opened the game yet, you don't have to restart the app. It'll keep reconnecting to the game every time you close the game or reopen it. So the first tab we have here is global, and this is mostly visual stuff and performance settings. Any changes made will not show for any other players. Here you have the option to change your HUD to one of the campaign ones, you know, Buck, Bale, Tanaka. But this doesn't update in real time, so you're going to have to set your HUD at the main menu. Then you've got some camera settings, so you can do things like third person or change your field of view. Now, the field of view actually is fixed. I know there was other apps that let you change the field of view, and whenever you'd spawn or boost, it would make this weird distorted zoomed in effect. I actually fixed that in my application, so that won't happen now. So, field of view almost perfectly works, aside from a few things with ADS and zooming on the sniper rifle scope. And there's also an option to apply the field of view to your third person camera whenever you're in a vehicle. Then there's some settings for a third person camera and there's also a list of camera tracks at the bottom so you can customize the third person camera. And then we also have first person assassinations which are pretty self explanatory. The last area we have on this tab is performance settings. This is for people that are struggling to run this perfectly optimized game. You can also use it to increase visual fidelity for people with based rigs. Alright now let's jump over to the local only tab. Ooh. So everything in here only works in a local game, meaning that you can't be connected to a dedicated server, you have to be in an offline local state. But since the majority of Halo 5 is online only, how do you do this? Well, you use the interactive tutorial. The first option you'll see on this page is install offline forge map. Now what you do here is you select the map and then you install it and it'll overwrite the interactive tutorial. So when you go to load up the interactive tutorial after installing a map, it'll load that map that you selected in offline mode. So there you can spawn AI and mess around with everything else that only works offline. So here's some options here, deathless player, bottomless clip, disable barriers, but I really want to talk about the AI and forge controls. These will let you spawn very basic AI and forge and it is very, very easy to use. You just have to click enable on one of the three spawners, select a biped, and then click apply changes. Then you can go into forge, go into extras, and then you should see something that says FX and AI, and then at the top you should see three spawners. That's the basics, from there you can change your respawn time, you can change the team if you want the AI to fight each other, you can change your grenade if you want them to actually use grenade, you can change their primary weapon, their secondary weapon. Now if you want them to use a rec weapon, you can change their weapon configuration tag. The weapon configuration tags are basically just weapon properties applied to a base weapon. This is so they don't have to make duplicates of weapons when they want to add a scope or change how much damage or the projectile. So if you want to make crazy weapons, you can use these. It should be noted, however, that some of the weapons don't work with the AI, they don't have firing properties for it, stuff like the Halo 2 Battle Rifle or the Halo CE Magnum. I'll be adding support for these in a future update, but right now I just didn't feel like adding it. That's pretty much it for the spawner settings. Now there is an option for overload protection. Enabling this will basically stop the AI from spawning after I think like 53 bipeds on the map. You really want to enable this because if you overload the map with too many characters, the sky will start disappearing and a bunch of objects will start rendering and de-rendering at once. You don't want to overload the game engine because it'll just look bad. So if you enable that, it shouldn't go over the limit. So anyways, let's jump over to the customization tab. Now I think this will make PC only players very, very happy because as you know, you can only unlock Rex on the Xbox. So in here, you can basically change any of your appearance settings that you could change on the Xbox. Armor, weapon skins, emblem. But the thing is, it's all already unlocked. You don't have to grind for it. You don't have to do anything. Every single item in the entire rec pool is in here, even three for three exclusive stuff. So I think people are going to have a lot of fun with this. Now all of these changes will apply in game in real time except for your announcer and your emblem. You have to change those at the main menu. Your weapon skin can change but you have to die and respawn first. If you don't know a trek to pick there's always the shuffle button which will select rex at random and if you want to change which rex to randomize you can change it in the shuffle settings. Well that's pretty much it for exuberant right now. This is basically a beta release so you might have some issues. If you do just send them to me on youtube or in a twitter dm or even email. I plan on adding much more features later but for right now I'm taking a break with Halo 5 Forge. You see, since the latest update, the game has been randomly crashing for me, it's had random bugs, and it's just tiring me out altogether. I'm sick of dealing with it. I really want Halo 5 to do well on the PC, but clearly Microsoft doesn't. 
So I'm going to be focusing on all our Halos and other games for right now until they get their shit together. So I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoy.